Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. I'm practically begging for the glasses. Yeah. You can wear them halfway through if you want. We can do 50 You can swoop them again. You can swoop them yourselves. I'll swoop them. Because I have some beard oils. Sure. What, Leaking like, up. I oil. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they rise. Kind of travel <laughs> They rise. It's so the scary. humidity. What is I it? Know. Just the, the literal rises. natural oil coming from your beard, or you're putting uh, yeah, oil my, on your beard? I have um, a disorder called hyper beardo. Oh God. Mm. Yeah. And what that does is it produces insane amounts of glucides. And that's Jesus. something with your beard. It's, yeah. And you and live it, with that every day. It's really hard. I wake up every day and I just have a literal pool of oil on my eyes. Are you born that way? Oh, I'd stop. Right <laughs> no, <here. laughs> it actually, I was converted. It was a vampire. You married it. It's a vampire it. situation. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's fun. We're just getting yeah. loose. We're having fun. How are you, Casey? Are you doing well? I heard you had an amazing. We're not recording, right? No. Oh, we're we, recording. We are recording. Oh, we're recording, yeah. So everyone knows about your hyper beardo. Oh, God. I know everybody's going to think that. What oh, the hell yeah. is that, Trish? He blocked Unhealthy your oil. Person. What is this? Your blotter paper for your oil. Put it oh. on your head. You are sweating a little, which is well, fine. Well, I'll tell but, you. Oh. You know, this is probably how the Hindus did it back in the day. You got to get him a chamois cloth. The amount yeah. of oil that he's fucking producing, you're going to need some sort of chamois cloth. Hyper glucobeardo. Good and God. And it also has to do a lot. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. You, that is me. That's when I was back eating all kinds of beef. Oh. So when I was on the beef oh. diet. Beef, man. Beefman, yeah. What is that, a sexual thing or literally beef sandwiches? Beef. It was. I did do beef sandwiches, but it was beef on beef. So like a double beef, the way oh, you would shit. get a double chocolate chunk cookie. It's chocolate on the outside, chocolate mm. on the inside. Was that Arby's? I would get Arby's on the outside, and then I would put various oh. different. I would okay, go, Arby's on the outside. What's on the inside <laughs> of the Arby's? Artisanal. Artisanal. Yeah. Like homemade. Yeah, I mean, it's meat. Wagyu. <laughs> Wagyu. So you would, so you'd cook this stuff and then get the Arby's and then you'd mix it together back it up. Basically, what I would do is I would go to the Arby's <laughs> and I would say, just give me the meats, and they would obviously reply, we have the meats, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then I would get it and I would unfurl the meat selection that they give me, mm-hmm. and I would make a, a a sort of wrap or burrito. Oh, like out burrito. of it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that was the beef diet. Damn. Uh, Unfurl it like a flag. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that Arby's, yeah, it's kind of like a welcome to Moe's situation. If you you go, yeah, where's the beef? You know, they all go, I don't know if I know We got the beef. (laughs) I know. That is cool. Welcome to Moe's. (laughs) I I don't know Moe's. Oh, do you know Moe's, William? Hell yeah, it might be just kind of a southeastern thing. thing. Is it a floor, or would it be in Florida? Maybe. They might exist. I mean, I know Florida has mellow mushrooms. You're familiar Ooh, with mellow yeah, you mushroom, see, you right? You see that beef that you see right there under me? Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised to know it actually unfolds to be 48 feet long. Oh, that beef. Yes. Yeah. So it's similar to the Boom. intestinal system of a human. Mm. It actually has 48, like, meat by the foot, 48 of them. 48 Jesus lives. Christ. Yes. 48 lives were lost Yeah. For every sandwich. Rest in peace. Think of all the cows oh. that need to die for our enjoyment. Hundred. It's crazy to think about. Yeah, I mean, a cow's a pretty big animal. <laughs> yeah. Huge, yeah. <laughs> but we're not eating all of it. Like, no one's eating A little the goes ankle. a long way. Yeah. yeah, that's what they say. Think about it. You go yeah. to the grocery store. <laughs> you see packed. about 500 <laughs> packs of beef. There's no way all of those are getting sold. Mm-hmm. Some yeah. of them are going bad. What do you think? I re- uh, yeah. How yeah. did you do that? Did Me you by the foot. That? He, no, no, that's a real, di- that's a reputable brand. Yeah. That's, a Slim Jim. I believe Me it's by on, the foot. Yeah. Oh. I believe that's sold only in mainland Hawaii. Mm. The Big Island. The Big Island. The Big Island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out Hawaiians. I yeah. love Hawaiians. Ohana. Sure. Yeah. Mahalo. 
Yeah, Ohana, mahalo. Ohana mahalo. means family. Mahalo, yeah. Ohana. You know, I'll tell you, that meat foot's getting me a little excited. It's weird. It's kind of like all the toes are kind of the same. What does that mean? You're gonna, you're not gonna live very long, isn't that what they say? about if all your fingers are the same size, you're not gonna live very long. Yeah, is that's that what the deal really is. Back. Yeah, I think yeah. it's to do with the thyroid. Look at that. That's you know, Delicious. if you cook that, you're a psychopath. Yeah, you got to go raw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. You have to. Right? You have to eat that raw <laughs> to appreciate like kind of yeah the real flavor of it. You got to go raw. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you have to slather it in molasses. Oh, my God. Like a sweet baby Ray's. Mm. Sweet there are so many feet loafs. Oh I want to meet sweet daddy Ray. Da, da, da. Well, he's not. Yeah, that's impossible unless you get a time machine <laughs> or go to heaven because he's not with us well, any longer. Yeah. They don't make them like they used to. Nope. They sure don't. I do have a time machine. How do we access? Or <laughs> you can't. You can't. What were you saying, Casey? You can't fact check it. <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't matter. I, was, I think I was just gonna say meat foot. <laughs> so, while you were busy saying something, maybe maybe of worth, I was just gonna go ahead and toss in a meat foot. Mm. Um, what do you do with your time machine? Mostly hijinks. Oh, nothing of oh. consequence. Can you yeah. go forward in time, or do time machines only work backwards? Well, technically, theoretically, right now, we think that physical matter can only go forwards, mm -hmm. but the essence of the human mm -hmm. can go back in time. The spirit. Spirit can go back in time. Just long enough to take a look. Just long enough yeah. to fuck some shit up and make someone, you know, like, just so your mom, it's, I mean, it's a back to the future mm -hmm. type of situation. Well, how long do you have? I mean, yeah, are you only looking through like a window at night somewhere and then you have to go back to the, then you have to go to regular time again? I mean, yeah, what are like you? Like whispering in the ear of yeah. Sir Isaac Newton. That's kind of the basic <laughs> gist of it. Watch it's out. like <laughs> Bill and Ted's. No, I'm com I'm completely kidding. Let's talk more about meat feet. Watch out for the apple, meat Isaac. Loves. Yes. Yeah, did Isaac? Is he the, the one apple. that ate the apple? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or was that Adam from Adam and Eve? <laughs> oh, yeah. Casey actually is the person who discovered yeah. gravity. <laughs> yeah, relativity. That was me and my friends. Well, I've been talking about. Well, it was me and two of my friends, Josh and Tarlo. And Tarlo. Tarlo. Tarlo <laughs> Tibbins, for, former forward for the Houston Rockets. No. Tarlo Pretty cool. Tibbins. You're yeah. kidding me. Yeah, yeah, he averaged He's 25 different. and 5 at the University of Utah. Oh, darn. I love a, a basketball player, it just amaze me. <laughs> <laughs> and 25 and 5, that's pretty good. And yeah, 25 basketball. rebounds, 5 points. He was still a guard? <laughs> Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Oh, my God. Getting he was five boards as a guard. You got to be scrapped. I know. He was a. Yeah. Uh, a rebound forward guard. So he would miss shots on purpose just to get another board. He was stat padding. Mm. But <laughs> so he probably really was going for the scraps then. Oh yeah. yeah. He was big into scraps. He was, he did a lot. He was the first player to really use Scrap distraction. Daddy. To use distraction on a basketball court like oh like like oh I'm going this way. And then he'd toss it like under. Like, what? Huh? So he was That's the decoy. Smart. Yeah, he was the decoy. Tarlo yeah. the decoy. <laughs> Tarlo the decoy. <laughs> they used to call him down yeah hey, at Salt Lake City. What Tarlo. was your cause Tarlo <laughs> That's. It sounds like a medieval dark ages name. Mm -hmm. Tarlo. Tarlo the decoy. Mm -hmm. It's British. What would your, what would your medieval name be or your dark ages name? Probably just Flournoy. What my middle name is now. It means You're black right. flower. So I imagine my people back in the day were priests or priestesses or. Oh my god. Or I don't know some sort of just a whimsical kind of person. Yeah. No. Black flowers are great. You know. <laughs> See, Everybody I've always tried to them. find that out, though. There really aren't that many black flowers, I'll help are you there? Figure that out. Mm -hmm. I'll help you figure out the symbolism of your name. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> please. Montgomery help. has a, a beautiful past. You can look into some beautiful mm -hmm. Montgomery past. I'll tell you that. I've seen some. Really? And I'm like, were you I, finding this stuff? The it's all through. Th Oh, through the Antikythera. The oh, the yeah. So, but you know, through the Antikythera, is that a part <laughs> of the machine? Well, some would say that it is just the namesake of this incomprehensible technology. Oh, it's like kind of the crux that makes it all run. The crux. Into the the okay. meeting of reality with oh. divine, you know? 
God, that's what but we're anyway, going for. No, but Montgomery, I mean, you can just read a little bit of history. If we're getting real here, you can read just a little bit of real history, and Montgomery has a hell of a name out there. I'll tell yeah. you. Mont, meaning mountain, of yes. the mountain. Yes, yes, yes. Where Christ gave his speech to his disciples. Yes. Mount Sinai, some yeah. people say Mount mm-hmm. Sinai. Well, that's what some people say. Montgomery. To yeah. have many teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the mount Without a doubt. The amount of teeth. <laughs> oh, dude, Tooth Mountain. Tooth Mountain. Oh, I forgot about Tooth Mountain. That's but why I, my dad was so angry when my tooth fell out with the Cajun people down in Florida. <laughs> I mean, it's really messing up the name. The when family. That, <laughs> yes, it messed up the name that day. So Yeah. Uh, Are you Irish, Casey? I am. I'm almost 100% Irish. Here's the thing. Both of us are Irish. Both of us yeah. are missing teeth. I think it's just who we are. Yeah. It's the I right think, thing. Yeah. Is it the same tooth? The Dublin smile. I think it's yeah. probably. We, I don't know. My, I've been in a couple scraps in my life. I think you'll have the same. <laughs> yeah, the old glass low smile. I need That's to get one removed, actually. But I had some bad dental work. <laughs> Fuck you, Dr. Patton. You want to talk about it? That's yeah, to I me. do. And he's lucky we don't sue his ass. Look at this. The, this is the story What's of the mountain that? of teeth. Oh, oh. Oh, and that's the Antikythera? Yeah, oh, they're right over that oh, way. Oh, that's yeah. the Antikythera. Well, that's, yeah, that's the, that's what they found. That's an artifact that they found. It's a tetrahedron. That day, that day. Oh, yes, I've heard of those, but yeah, <laughs> tetrahedron. Of oh, look at that. I'm loving this artwork. I didn't even really get a chance to really relax into this. <laughs> yeah, Grant's artwork. really on his game today. Grant's fucking up. Thank you, Grant. He's fired up. Thank you, Grant. That's a lot like, kind of like what the Yaker. an Irishman looks like. Yeah. That's a Irish. That's a thirteen-year-old Irish boy, <laughs> just smiling at the ball game. Yeah, <laughs> toss yeah. him a ball, get a smile back. Um, <laughs> losing teeth is part of our culture. I think the tooth fairy is Irish. Mm-hmm. Never really thought about it. Never really thought about the heritage. Do you get more money when it's a adult tooth? I actually get less money <laughs> that you owe them. <laughs> yeah, we owe we owe the government. The Irish people owe the go- the queen every time. <clears throat> it's a tooth tax. Yeah, tooth tax. <laughs> tooth tax. <clears throat> and if you lose a tooth, you owe double. Yep. Uh, oh, speaking uh, of uh, speaking of England, I do want to make a proclamation, William. And yeah, Casey. you said something earlier in here that was very interesting. Your well, connection. You know, it's been a while now that I've really known this about myself, and you know, all the puzzle pieces are just falling into line, Casey Rocket. And speaking of puzzle, not to interrupt, we're about to finish a puzzle. It was like it was so hard for me to good. it was hard for me to get up from the table today. I really put in work till four a.m. last night. Well, I really do it. Woo! One of those days. Woo! I was getting the freaking trailer. It was hard. It's all the same color. What is the picture? It's a beach scene and half of scene. half is night, half is day, which is really hard because yeah, the gorgeous. sunset and sunrises, the colors are similar. A lot of sand, which is really difficult. Mm-hmm. Sand stuff, sand indistinguishable. Yeah, airstream at the beach. There's indistinguishable. A freaking, yeah, from, there's from beach balls. It's kind of who yeah, really brings beach a beach ball? Let's be honest. Does anybody bring a beach ball? I don't. Only to a concert. Yeah. Yeah, I only bring it to a high school graduation, and I do go to those a lot. <laughs> You're kidding. Are you gonna- I'm kidding. I don't. I've only been to mine. That's the only college graduation I've been to. That's or high school graduation. <laughs> but anyways, college I College graduation, for some reason, seems even weirder. I, for, do, I, don't, I don't know why, but it does. I do want to just be clear <laughs> with the world. And I, I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to the world, and it really would be a sin not to tell the world that I am actually the rightful king of England. And uh, this is because of my well, lineage to William the Conqueror. And, uh, you know, Queen Elizabeth, she made his a aunt, His aunt traced it back to the 900s. 900s. Oh it's only about 33 uh, generations. And, uh, you know, here's Does that the math deal. work? Is that really what that 900, that would be 33 generations yes, of people? Yes, people, people, because of people having kids younger in the past and dying younger. Oh, You now get maybe two generations every hundred years, but back then you might get three. That's true. Four, you know. They died by 35. Look at this. So, you know, and I didn't want to have to say this, and I wouldn't say it if the royal family wasn't currently dropping like flies, but I do believe that (laughs) the alien Anunnaki will not, will be relentless on the royal family until they. Enlist me back into a position of power. Are you familiar, yeah. Casey? You're an alien guy to some extent. With Anunnaki. Sure. Yeah, are you familiar with Anunnaki? Or are they from the island of Lumeria? Anki. Anki is like, we got to get Whalen 
in Scotland. They want me in Scotland, uh, in the Highlands, Enki and Enlil. They all, they're all in These accordance. Are the aliens, and they're on your team. They, they want just me. Like they you need a lot. me there. Well. They, it's we 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 love each other. It's like a puppet government. Do you think that you're a show for them, or you think you're their real friend? Yeah, I mean, really think no, about it. No, we're none of our uh, none of us are their real friends. It's like, is your boss your real friend? So it's like are... ex machina. <laughs> Wait, yeah, AI it's kind girl. of an ex machina thing. It's yeah. a little bit of yeah, a little bit of an ex machina. But they love us. You have no idea how I many they could end. Our well, lives. some of us. You're you're the one claiming that they're giving the royal king you and probably... queen cancer. Well. If you looked into it, yeah. well, they're very vengeful. And if you don't do the right thing in the eyes of the Anunnaki, it ain't going to be good for you. Th they swelled up Charles's <clears throat> fingers. They look like sausages. Well, because here's yeah. the thing. William the Conqueror came into England, and he and he brought civility to England. He built all of the castles. You can look this up. He built all the castles. Where was he from? Where was he, he was, coming from? He was Detroit. from Normandy, <laughs> France. <laughs> he was the Duke of Normandy, but his grandfather was Rollo. The Viking. Oh, Rolo. Huh. Yeah. Rolo or or his father. Rolo Casey yeah, yeah. Rolin. Interesting. Yeah, no. Robert, uh -oh. his father, huh. his fa Wait father was. Maybe I go back 34 generations. There you go. Maybe we're cousins. Maybe the Anunnaki think that I'm really great and they want to make me play for the Cubs. They probably do, dude. I think they do. I bet the Anunnaki thinks anybody who like <laughs> is an artist is great. I bet like. William, you probably have to believe in the Anunnaki though. No, the, no, no, no. They're just, well, they love you, William. They, they know about them? They know about us. You're kidding. They you're know joking, about everybody. Right? Oh. oh, so not just. Well, we're us, having everybody. fun, right? We're doing a bit somewhat here, aren't we? Somewhat. Well, I Isn't thought it was some... cooler if they liked us specifically, not not. Well, I'll not tell everybody. you. I'll tell you, dude. They definitely love you. That's awesome. Cool. That's better than them hating me or something. Yeah. I'll no, take it. They love curse. you. They love anybody with creativity and enthusiasm. <laughs> they love because that's <sighs> that's like that's, that's the, the mark of of a good person. They're just jazzing me up. I can tell yeah. they're just trying to take advantage of me. No, dude. They're going to actually straight <laughs> up bless you, you up? with so many blessings. Do you, are you familiar with King Solomon? That is William the Conqueror. Can we get a different William the Conqueror? I don't like that depiction of him. Can we get the one that's a little less cartoonish and slightly more realistic? Yeah. There Thanks. is one. Yes, it shows can. his double chin, no beard. We want to see it. It shows his double chin. <laughs> But what happened is, is he came in and he brought this this beautiful advanced civilization to the world. Absolutely. Okay. And then the uh, you know King George and the Habsburgs and now the there Windsors. He is. There he is. Well. Tell me that doesn't look a lot like your boy. If I didn't have my oh wow. Oh no! It didn't spill. It actually didn't. Wow. It actually didn't spill. It. Thank you, Anunnaki. Oh my god. Yeah, that's are, crazy. Are you telling me the Anunnaki is not on our side? From today? Nervous Charlie's. Nervous Charlie's. Nervous Charlie's. The heck of a bacon, egg, and cheese. Turn I know out. you were eating it. Did you end up finishing it? You ate half of it earlier. Were you able to end up finishing that thing? I'm saving one bite for the conclusion. For dinner? This. Oh, for the last, <laughs> yeah, the last minute dinner. of the podcast. That's my dinner. <laughs> That's yeah. what I did last night with my peanut butter Snickers. I ate three of them and then ate my cheeseburger and then saved the last <laughs> one for a dessert. So good? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. You know what I love to do is when I'm not high, I'll get myself, I'll buy myself a little treat and purposefully kind of like hide it, forget about it. And then when I'm high, I'll find it and I'll be like, thank you, Sober Tom. Yes, <sighs> Blue Airhead. Yeah. Dude, you're spot on. <laughs> this guy has hockey power. Where's a good hiding blood? <laughs> oh, freezer. A Snickers, but specifically, I'll tell you the the, the uh, thought that I had in my head when I said that was of my pack of Airheads that I found. Yeah. So I know I got to give props. Yeah, Casey did. Casey know has that. Anunnaki power as well. Yeah. So I got the blood. I have ten sisters. Their name are Marlin, Carlin, Starlo, and Barless. <laughs> all of our two all of them they double down. Oh, okay. <laughs> they double down and then there's two repeats. Are you so. O negative blood? Yes. I am too. Yeah. Me Are too. you O negative blood? <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but I have never Is that I was the always scared universal? of needles. Universal I don't know what donor. Donor. I don't Yeah, me know. too. Also incredible. <laughs> yeah, Are you really? Know. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible healing properties. Really? Anunnaki mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe you, Erica, as well. Maybe you have that. But then you guys could have a child and then your child is what's the dominant blood type oh negative oh, i got o negative from my mom my dad's like b 
positive yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you know, boring. something. Oh, something kind of weird. Be positive. So like, yeah. But yeah, basically, <laughs> I just want to let the uh, royalty of England know that, um, you know, the future is Whalen. And that I'm not saying you have to, the Windsors have to denounce their royalty and their, you know, their throne, but they have to give Whalen a seat because I represent the Trinity. Mm -hmm. I represent the Rose Cross <laughs> and the I Rose represent Cross. the mighty powers that we see in the heavens. Well, so yeah, the Windsors are officially on blast. They're yeah. on blast and I will They're heal you. They're officially on blast from here and forthcoming they're on blast yeah king charles i don't want harm to come to you just give me a castle give me one of my my does it not scare castles. you aren't, aren't some of them living in america now does that not scare you that well i'm not threatening them i'm not killing anybody i think it's the anunnaki i have no say in what the anunnaki so do. it's probably safe sure. It should be. I, I love, I want to, mm. I would save King Charles's life right now. If King Charles was hanging, <laughs> hanging off a cliff edge Lion King style, You'd I would grab arm. him and I would pull him up. Well, I, I thought was, in Lion King, he throws him off. But I would do it the opposite. Oh, uh, I would do the right cut. thing. I think there's a callback later on when there's the opportunity to drop where I believe Simba could drop Scar. Yeah. I believe this happens. And he shows him mercy. He, he mercies him. Because mercy is what God loves, by the way. And then Scar tried to kill Anunnaki him Anunnaki anyway. is God. What? Yeah, Scar tried to, yeah, he immediately turned around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why you have to be careful with stuff like that. If somebody's real evil like that. Yeah. You have hmm. to be really careful. Grace. So I love... <laughs> just to be clear, you are saying if they do not give up the throne, though, they will die. But you're not directly threatening. I'm not threatening right. them. Not even a little. Yeah, In we fact, need to get this, like straight. this to yeah, end. set this straight. I would like this to end. What I would, part? The bloodshed. I would like having to wake up and read that, you know, the the uh, Duchess is is dying, that yeah. Queen Elizabeth died, that you know, um, and, and it, it all happened after she broke her wand of office, and we know that <laughs> in the Druid community. So, you know, so you're Druid as well. You're kidding. I mean, look, listen, I'm not going to confirm or deny my religious beliefs, but. Uh, you know, we we know the esoteric. Let's say yeah. that. Yeah, Crowley and sex magic. A little bit. I wish I had a little more yeah, sex, blood magic. sex magic. And then no blood. Had, uh, yeah. chili no blood. Uh, chili peppers. I R H C P. I didn't know what that was for the longest time, and then I realized it was <laughs> meant red hot chili peppers. Oh yeah. I had I no love idea. The, the R H C P's. I love them. Yeah, I'm but, a part of the community. Me yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. And Simbez, that's when he started working out after the whole scar <laughs> thing. He was never going to be taken advantage Looking of Looking beefed up. He was on the beef diet there. Beef boy. Yeah. Look at that. How he's got the buckle. They gave him like a little leprechaun buckle too. He's a, he's a bottom. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> power bottom or just regular bottom? Oh, power bottom. Body yeah. like that. You don't let it go. So what waste. is a power bottom? Oh, that yeah. means they're just like sitting and just like, ah! Yeah, wait, is it bottom? Does that literally mean the butt? The bottom. Oh, I thought it meant like you're on bottom, like on the bed. Well, I would be that, so, well, that type of power bottom. I would be that type of power what, bottom. What, where you're laying on the squash, bed squash, having squash. sex you a, with the person? Yeah, you get a good, you get a good, <laughs> um, you know, like posture, and then you're delivering upward force mm. while she's using gra gravitational, going back to Newton, sorry. Totally, no, excuse <laughs> me. And make sure you're not smoking a bunch of cigarettes because you might run out of breath doing that though. You gotta be really careful. <sighs> mm -hmm. Kids, stay away from those cigs. Yeah. How's the vape? the vape though? That's probably better. This is, I'll tell you, as safe oh, as <laughs> hold on how did that was the anunnaki slapping it that was the anunnaki slapping it out of my hand divine oh, justice oh, look, we got isaac over there you know imagine if i did have like a sixth man remember the movie six man starring marlon william marlon wayans do you want a man no marlon six, no, also a good, marlon marlon darling marlon wayans and uh I can't remember the other fellow's name. It's called The Six Man. The Denzel Six Washington? Man. It was about the superstar. I believe it was University of Washington. Kadeem Hardis. Kadeem, yes, yes, yes. Who is that? Kadeem. It was the saddest this, movie. This was one of the so greatest sad. movies of my childhood. It made me cry. Oh I wouldn't doubt it. It made me cry. Oh, he's Somebody get heaven. murdered. He's an angel. Well, the, the best player on the team gets taken out dead. Well, he actually like <laughs> dies on the court. <laughs> he dies on the oh, court. Oh, he dies on the court. What? He has like a heart attack. <laughs> what? So he haunts the it. basketball court after he No, he doesn't he dies. haunt it. No, see, he's not like a bad ghost. He's like a champion ghost. 
Oh, he's, he's a champion. He's a champion. Guys. So he helps Marlon Wayans win with the basketball. NCAA championship. Yes. Oh my gosh! Look. Oh my god! This he's is like, man, I couldn't movie. have done this without you. Does he always have the bright light around him to signify yeah. he's a ghost? Yeah, no one can see him. <laughs> Does he get a ring when they win? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. He gets I think one. he's sitting up on the. I think he's sitting up on the uh, the hoop. <laughs> Oh, when the they're end. cutting it down yeah, or something. He's like, man, we did it. It was all worth and then it. he goes to heaven. Oh, Aww. cool. So it's I'd like it to, took a while. His work is done, yeah. I guess. He, gets to he had back. to win a championship. Well, luckily they won because some teams yeah. go through long spans of time without winning. He could have just been yeah. on the court <laughs> for, for hundreds 20, of years. Yeah. I mean, think years. about like Dequesnian or, you know, some school like. Dequesnian. Yeah, Dequesnian. Yeah, oh, sure. I know. Dequesnian. Grand Canyon University. You know, these schools that are never going to win a title. Du- yeah. Duquesne? Dequesnian. Oh, Dequesnian. Oh, okay. Dequesnian. I that's a common There mistake. it is. Oh, my God. Did I not tell you? So that's after. Well, it looks like there's 13 no, seconds left on the shot clock. So that's like in the middle of the game. He's slapping. Yeah. Is he cheating? Is he knocking cheater. the shots he's, out for the other team? Was he actually manipulating the ball? Yes. That's not fair. Well, God the thing is, that. here's what you don't understand is that uh, God and Anunnaki aren't fair. God is like, it's a shame that this poor boy died that had so much future. And he said, mm-hmm. for that, I will grant you the ability to cheat to hit the ball yeah because yeah. god can stop so anything. who wins who wins in a one-on-one him or Airbud? what are your mm-hmm. thoughts that could be interesting that's what do you don't think you know if he can do anything without the help of somebody else with a human's hand like a surrogate yeah i think him <laughs> yeah, yeah i think surrogate <laughs> a surrogate i think him and air bud could probably maybe together they could be unstoppable if yeah. this guy gets with air a dog bud. and a ghost <laughs> it would be for a one-on-one crazy. tournament <clears throat> we talk about the ratings for mike tyson versus jake paul could you imagine air bud and a ghost, a ghost <laughs> versus like larry bird and magic johnson it's present day but it would have to be one on one, though, right? Because people aren't seeing the ghost, so it would have to be Airbud versus somebody else. Well, Airbud would like take it up at the top of the key. He'd nose it a couple times mm-hmm. over. It would bounce like it would look like it was going to go out of bounds, and then it would pop. You just be like, where did it? What? And then no. Airbud would dunk it. Oh, because he alley ooped. He, he threw an alley oop. So you're like, where is he? Yeah, he likes to nose it. That's yeah. Air Bud's That's his main nosing tactic. Because yeah. <laughs> dogs' legs are very weak at the joints. Yeah. So, but their nose is like a seal's nose. They have. Yeah, so. Let's just be honest. Dogs have <laughs> shitty handles. Yeah. Yeah. Can't dribble yeah. for shit. Everybody had no handles. So I like that calling hands handles. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Gator has sweet little handles. Mm-hmm. Grant, what is that scary thing you're showing us? Ooh, yeah. Oh, evil Airbud. Evil Airbud. It's actually not even close to the Halloween holidays. We'd appreciate if that's gone now. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of putting dark energy in our soul. Sorry, guys. Thank Grant, you. It's okay. Thank God right. we have the Anunnaki protecting us. Mm-hmm. You know, the gods of light. Ooh, know? Grant, will you find there's a good Goosebumps book cover with a really scary dog on it? I think you could find it. I don't know which Goosebumps book that is, though. How much we'll did we love Goosebumps in the back in the day? 100%. The, the Choose Your Own Adventure. Oh, those were good. Choose Your Own Adventure was fun. I never did that. They did have the Goosebumps Choose Your Own Adventure. I was a part of the fan club. My now deceased grandfather <laughs> took me to a bookstore one time, and I joined the fan club. And got like a pencil and a sharpener <laughs> and something. Ooh, Ooh, that's a scary dog. Ooh, hey. <laughs> that dude got a big forehead. Yeah, <laughs> You're damn right. What's wrong with your brain, baby? Dude, he's got the brain <laughs> protruding. That's the smartest dog I've ever seen. <clears throat> That's Isaac Newton of Pitbull. <laughs> yeah. What does that look like? Kind of bosoms or a butt or something? Almost, if you look at yeah. it. Do you think it was subliminal? Do you think the artist was like, I'm going to make all these kids look at a butt? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Turn them all freaking totally nuts. Into butts. Yeah, get Turn into, them into dogs, butts. Yeah. getting oh. into animals. Oh, That's freaks. always weird. I've been reading. Some lady got in trouble again for having sex with her dog. It's disgusting. What's going how on? How does that even work? Do they get their penis inside of... How does that... Mm. I, I don't even get not. how that works. I would hope not. I would think that would cause damage, right? You'd think You'd that so. that would cause... Well, the, so. oh, the dog fun- banging a woman, <laughs> that's... You'd think there would be some diseases. You'd think God yeah. would prevent that from <clears throat> happening. Well, it's like when you eat too much human meat and you get that, uh, what's it called, kuru or something, you get that weird disease That's what I'm that saying. makes you shake. Well, what yeah. I was about to oh, say, really? we're yeah. seeing it like mm-hmm. crazy. We're seeing 
cannibalism more and more we're seeing yeah I, cannibalism's I on the rise i think i saw rise. one story about like a college professor that got in trouble for banging a dog but i didn't know that that was like on the rise and good that guy honestly i think that should be the death penalty i think <laughs> if you have sex with a dog or the yeah. The dog lives. Oh, oh. <laughs> the but dog has to watch, though. Yeah. He's I don't even watch you be put down. I bet the dog wouldn't want to live. <laughs> Could you so imagine guilty. if you th imagine if an elephant had sex with you? Could you imagine if an elephant just decided to bang you? <laughs> they could what if they wanted do? to. Yeah, I don't know what you do. They absolutely could. Yeah, you'd pin have to your just, arms now. Yeah, you'd have to <laughs> just lay there. I guess it would be a terrible fate. And that's why I think we should murder anybody who does that. But what if it's the yeah. smartest dog breed, like a Shetland? Never. True. Mm. Well, what if it is a real smart dog? Talk about dogs. things God hates, Casey Rocket. Smart dog. We, t we talk about things God hates? Sure. Banging anything on four legs. God. Damn. I'll tell you. I'm just, that's just me being honest. That's just me being straight up. If you get sexual on four legs, God hates that. You're going to heaven. Amen. You're going to heaven, but it's going to be pissed. Unless it's, a, unless it's dog on dog. Well, you can always... Yeah, dog on dog. Of course. God that, loves that. God yeah, that loves works. dog on dog. Uh, you know who hated it? Bob Barker. He hated dog always on Always spay and neuter your dogs. And I'll be honest. Have y'all watched that show recently? I was a little sad. I'm not feeling it. You were on The prices, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you win? It was, yeah, <laughs> but it was sad. I was on the episode. I won, but it was sad. No, I didn't win everything. I won. Uh, I won you won something you're wearing right you now? You won a gold chair. Oh, it's this pretty small. This is one of the things. I, th it was like one of four <laughs> items. It's, pure, it's a 18 karat gold. Wait, what else was a part of the four item? <laughs> so it's a gold necklace. Was it gold other earrings, jewelry? which I don't wear. Oh, yeah, it's jewelry. I, I can melt them down, though. Um, what else? That's your right. No, your I, right I, I won a that. bunch of gold ju jewelry. Give it up for B Barks. Uh, uh, Fuck, he's right behind me. Yeah. <laughs> but I won some gold, and then when I got up to um, to get to the second prize, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they said, "What's the price of a trip to Nashville?" Can I ask you, you guys? Did the showdown? Trip to Nashville. You made it to the showdown. I didn't make it to the showdown. It was just the first game. Okay. So I got the bid incorrect. Yeah. On the four pieces. The of video is out there. Yes. On the What'd four you guess? I think I guessed like 14, I guessed a dollar over. Oh, smart. Nice. Yeah, you got to do that. Yeah, I yeah. got the dollar over guy. And um, and so I won the jewelry. I got up there. They go, they go trip to Nashville, all expenses paid, four, four days, four nights, line dancing lessons, hotel <laughs> and airfare, right? So they said it's either 9700 or no, 5700 or 7500 And it was coach airfare for two. Four nights and line dancing. Damn. Okay. I said fifty seven hundred. Nice. It was seventy five hundred they wanted for that. No. Four nights? It's a ripoff. And I love uh, you. I love you. The price is right. It's a botch job. William's talking about how it's a little sad. Maybe it's getting sad because you're trying to tell us a trip to Nashville's seventy five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, not a chance. That's an Egypt. That's yeah. a trip to Egypt. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah, Nashville, Ethiopia. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. What the hell? <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> it's just not right. They took advantage of you in front of your family. Yeah. Well, that made sad. me kiss Drew Carey after, too. When the cameras were off? Yeah. It was in a really dark room. You gotta kiss the ring. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Drew Carey's the man. I didn't, he didn't force me to kiss him. You kissed him on purpose. Yeah. No, I begged him. What, after he gave you a, your jewelry? <laughs> yeah. You I, asked, uh... Well, I mean, you give a kiss <laughs> to the man that gives you jewelry. Do I That's I was pretty? Okay. I was raised that way. If a man gives you jewelry, you give... You give him a kiss. Yeah. Do I look gorgeous, Drew? Yeah, just in a dark room, just yeah. putting on your jewelry. Are your ears pierced? My shirt's lit up. Um, no. Oh, Not I anymore. know. <laughs> Fuck. I've never had a piercing. I have a couple tattoos. Tattoos, but they call that the piercing of the of the, the piercing arm. of the skin. Oh, piercing the heart. of the arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> Wasn't that in the Buddhist the the Vedas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Tiger's Vedas, Guide yeah. to the Galaxy as well. <laughs> Yeah, Dude. talk about that. I mean, William, if we're talking about someone that could be a sage forest mage, yeah. it, it, I'm looking at William. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, and that's everything I wish I could be. 
stop you if you only knew <laughs> you don't want to say that i'm nothing like a forest mage trust Dude, me i wish i was that's... trust me don't ask eric i'm nothing like a forest mage think... i've been getting excited recently finding the puzzle pieces <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what's going on right now. No, it is so exciting. Oh my gosh, when you're like, I have all the different plates with the pieces on there, and I'll be looking for hours, and then I'll see a piece that I need, and it's just the most exciting that thing. Thrill mm -hmm. of the hunt. Mm -hmm. Woo! When it fits in there, when you press it, and you're thinking it might fit, and it fits. It's Sh exciting. Shoot. Dopamine. That's dopamine. Like, what would have this little white straight edge? Like yeah. <gasps> the nose. <laughs> yeah. That's a dog nose. Seashell. It's the dog's nose. <laughs> Erica, get in here. <laughs> She's like, I was just in here when you found the ear. Yeah. It happened like 10 times yeah. last night. Get in here. I think I found a part of the, the Christmas lights on this thing. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Uh -huh. I, found the, I found the bow on the present. <laughs> It's so exciting. I'm not even kidding. It really is exciting. One of, one of the easier things to match to would be a very distinguishable <laughs> feature would be the bow. But eh, it's worth waking up for. It was hailing totally. last night. Hailing? I heard it, that. I know. I took a video. It's kind of scary because it, it, it <laughs> felt <over> like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it, but I did take one. It really did. Uh, it's, I thought someone was banging on my door. But it wasn't. No. Big well, hell. get used to it. You just moved here, dude. You need to get your vehicle. If you got a vehicle here, yeah. you need to get it under some sort of cover whenever it's going to happen because yeah. it messes people's cars up. So, yeah, big time. <laughs> I do love it here, though. I think the weather's better. I Like, L.A. is like you get the same shit, but they've gotten three hurricanes in the last couple months. Yeah. Bomb cyclones, I think they're called. Have you been here during the summer, though? I was in Houston for the summer, so I know oh, Houston yeah. summer, and I can't imagine it's much worse here than Houston, yeah. but I do know it's bad. It ain't no good. Yeah, that's what I was telling Tom in the car when we saw him out there and we smoked a little dope in the car. I told his ass, I'm like, you haven't been here for the summer it's yet. It's fucking awful. Yeah. Woo! Hard well, to exist. Well, I have a pretty positive outlook. Like, if I'm enjoying other aspects of my life it's mm -hmm. a it's a lot easier to be happy about the even the things that might not be perfect and you are living in lyndon b johnson old house that so hopefully true. that has good air conditioning yes it does yeah, yeah i have a nice <laughs> a room? uh so i i'm in i don't want to give out too information too much information about where i live but i'm <laughs> i am in a private section of the property the let's entrance. say that perhaps perhaps not but yeah, no. somewhere on the property but it's of awesome. Lyndon B. Johnson's old house. Yes, yes. Cool. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, there's a, a beautiful Greek amphitheater in the back. I'm gonna have a, a show there. Whoa! And it actually has electricity <laughs> and lighting already installed into it. It's like a forest. It's like a really? shire. How'd you find this place, dude? I'm telling you, the Anunnaki <laughs> led me there, dude. And Via it, what? Craigslist dude, or something? Or how'd you I find you it? An no, email? I I yeah. found it on Zillow. <laughs> I found a real estate agent on Facebook. No. Facebook? No, no, no. One That's of not the, where you go for that. No, one of like um, Zillow or one of those, I went online and That's I was, I you know, low, looking at price prices and I kept it in the certain price range and I found a lady. She was going to get me one apartment and then she was like, oh, it fell through. You'd like this one more anyways. <laughs> and it's cheaper and it's like everything included and, you know. And cool. I, and, and I saw... You know, the area, it's there's a good old Linden. He did most of his business on the toilet, which he and I have in common. <laughs> what does that mean? Like being on your foot? Yeah, what are you I'm doing? just, I'm doing business. Yeah. I'm dropping deuce. I'm not dropping deuce. I'm on the toilet sometimes sure, for, for sure. hours a day. And apparently it's not bad if you're just sitting on the toilet. It's just you don't want to be, be pushing. pushing. Yeah. That's what I yeah. read. Yeah, you, you don't, you don't want to force <laughs> you it. You just want to sit, don't push, and you're fine. Yeah, just well, wait for it to come out. That. We do men, us men, mm. us men okay. love. He gets all red in the face, and I'm like, "Can you stop pushing it?" Like well, I love to feel like I'm doing something. Yeah, yeah like you're doing sure. the job. Yeah, that happened earlier today. It was not a lot of effort, not a lot, <laughs> uh, just a kind of he a boring his old face. It gets all red. It's boring. <laughs> this it was a boring, boring one today. Yeah, I'm I've bored. Been <laughs> I had a, a one. That I swear to God, it was a foot and a half long. I tried to get Erica to look at it. Do you drink coffee? It's the all brand buds. I swear, I'm a if giant you, proponent of those things. If you drink, they really help. They clear you out. I you, swear, because oh, okay. you don't need to push if you drink coffee. 
Foot and a half. I've never Probably drank a coffee and, and needed to push. <laughs> Just, well, that's good. Yeah, huge. I have problems. A foot and a half is pretty huge. You might have a more <laughs> fibrous diet than me as well. That's a big log. So all brand buds. A big old log. All around. brand buds. Well, I didn't yeah. eat them yesterday, and today it was you. just kind of. Eh. Yeah. I do liquid IV enemas. And Six. that helps <clears throat> B vitamins. Yeah, it helps. Up the butt, right huh? Up the butt. Yeah. And what's that process like? Fingers in, spread. Oof. <laughs> liquid IV, squeeze the packet. <laughs> I feel like I would yeah. be the so powder? uncomfortable. Yeah, the powder. And it stings for a while, but then you wash it down with the neti pot. Cool. Yeah. Just make sure to clean the neti pot yeah, probably before after you use before it. You and it's got to be. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. It's got to be <laughs> scalding hot water. Yes. Well, it has to kill the bacteria. Scalding hot. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what makes liquid IV work so good is that it actually has a little bit of the SARS virus in it. It has a little bit of E. coli. So the hot water helps kill that while still kind of ushering in a new era of like flowing out that little thing. And that's that's technically a vaccine, right? Yeah, it's a black. Is, the yeah, FDA it's a black scene. considers it. CDC considers it a vaccine. Well, it's not been approved by the FDA, but the CDC is totally on board. They've been sending me emails all week asking for the patent. Yeah, <laughs> are you going to give it to them for the right price? Yeah, you can't yes. just give it to yeah. them. I said seventy-five dollars minimum, a hundred thousand dollars maximum. Did they I come wonder... back? Yeah, they said they would give me a hundred thousand. <sighs> Oh yeah! No. Damn, That's a big win. Add another zero on that. Yeah, Damn. yeah, hundred million. Negative. <laughs> yeah, say add another zero maybe <laughs> to that one and see what they say. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so the price is right, Bob, so, and so pretty cool. So when you're that. doing that, is it your both of your hands or somebody helping you? Uh, well, I need someone in there to watch to make sure I'm not getting too scared. Okay. But I'm the doing fear it aspect myself. is a big thing. <laughs> yeah, because it'll it'll pucker me right up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get too scared, so they'll be trying to relax me. Like this is really gonna help. Is there and, a, uh, any yeah. specific music or artist that they put on to loosen the butt? Yeah, Diant Word. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Diant Word. So they'll put <laughs> babies on fire. Or I'm a ninja. Yeah, I like the hits. Like, I feel like Dido would be good. That'd be good. The Eminem song. Too relaxing. The one that's like. And I that song the cold and wonder yeah, that song why. used to make me cry in like day. the sixth grade. I couldn't listen to the Dido, the one not with Eminem, where it's no. just her. I could not no. listen to that in but the what sixth about grade. That one it made that me I cry doing. so bad <laughs> every the, freaking time. What about the best day of my life? That's the one I'm talking about. Oh, I that cannot, because that's the solo version. That's the one not with Eminem. I cannot oh, listen to the solo version. That is oh. like the bridge of the soul. You're so right. Yeah. It, it's not bad to cry. I know. It's not bad to cry. You know, especially listening to a little music. It's it's bad to cry reactively. But it's it's not bad to cry contemplatively or That's true. or in grief, you know. And I want to say that to any yeah. of my dudes out there. Yeah. It's beautiful to cry, especially at a funeral. Mm. If you want to really have that person with you forever, what song are you going to, at your funeral, what do you think? Do you Jeez. have an idea of what songs you're going to be playing? Are you going to make people happy or like a Cat Stevens song where people are going to start crying? I don't what want people to be sad. I hope it's very <laughs> far in the future. Maybe it'll be a song that hasn't been created yet. Who knows? <laughs> That's an but, interesting yeah, answer. Like I've never heard styles or Because I like to, I'm, I'm, I'm planning for the long run, but... <laughs> I'm if, waiting for better music to come out. If they said, <laughs> I if, right, yes, exactly. I need some better music. But if it got to the point in 70 years, uh, no, imagine if I lived to 100. And, in, in a long time, if they're like, it's got to be pre-2025, you know, I would, yeah. I'd probably go with like Free Bird. Okay. Yeah. Because people would start getting fucking pumped when it about halfway through point, yeah you know and everybody's sad at yeah. the beginning and that's cool. how it should be when you grieve somebody you should be sad at the beginning but then you should then the, the guitar solo comes in and you're just rocking and it's like, bam, 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 you gotta you know? do the live version the live bam, version yes. is better than the studio <laughs> give me back my bullets <laughs> Yeah. Just a Skinner playlist. Oh, Hell a Skinner yeah. playlist. I used to love drinking whiskey, oh, listening too. to Skinner. I do. I yeah. love um, <laughs> I love so many Skinner songs. I also love Creedence Clearwater Revival. Oh yeah, I know they're great. I wanna know. <laughs> have you ever seen the rain? What's another one? Um, <laughs> when will the 
Some folks are born home, made <laughs> to wave the flag. flag. Ooh, that red, white, and blue. <laughs> and when the band plays hail to the chief, oh, you know you get them talking to you. Oh, it ain't me. It ain't me. I ain't that fortunate son. No. That was, uh, that's, that's a good, good one. And they're from San Francisco, I think. You would think they, they were from the like, south somewhere. Yeah. They sound like mm, mm. Mississippi guys. John Fogarty. Fogarty. Same yeah. with the band. Aren't they from, like, Canada? Yeah, they're from, like, New York or something. And the yeah. Eagles are from Chicago. The Eagles, you hear Desperado, you're like, those guys are from the South. But, yeah. Oh. Can't always assume. Yeah, the I, band were weird. They were like, we need to reinvent ourselves. We're going to be Southern now. And they <laughs> just moved to the South and then yeah. started old thing. I think Leonard Skinner just made everybody want to be from the South. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Now, I don't know. Now don't, William Montgomery mm-hmm. makes everybody want to be from the South. Comes natural to guys like us. I'm yeah, from, I'm damn from Georgia. Right. Gosh, I watched this mm-hmm. insane movie two nights ago on Netflix uh, doing the puzzle. It was called like Eldest Son or something from like 84. And the girl, the lady has two kids and the freaking, she gets a divorce or something. And then she ends up getting some really bad boyfriend. And then there's this one scene where they're doing cocaine down on the pinball table. And one of the kids walks down and sees them doing lines, but they're listening to the band. Oh, um, <laughs> which I thought was a fun song to play while they're railing lines. <laughs> I'm on fire. The eldest son. Oh, man. Or Atlantic oh. City. Was it Atlantic City by the band? <laughs> that's a good cocaine song. <laughs> that's a great one. Yeah, that's... It was the weight, I think. Chicken man, Chicken man in Philly, Philly last, last night. night. <laughs> and they blew up his house, too. <laughs> Down on the boardwalk. We should just do karaoke. Ah, uh, the band. Oh, well, I yeah. wish I could do karaoke. When Everything. I opened for Adam Pally, he made us sing the band after every show. We would yeah. go oh, really? and sing the band. It was awesome. Shout uh, out Adam Pally. So funny, good friend. That's yeah, that, yeah, shout out. He's awesome. And good friend. Would y'all know the lyrics, or would the lyrics be up somewhere? <laughs> I had to look just... it up on my phone. Was it oh, Atlantic fun. City by the band, or was it? Yeah. It w- No, no, no. It was the weight. Yeah, He's got weight. beautiful eyes, and I can say that comfortable in my sexuality. Yeah, I do too. Grant, We have similar eyes. eyes, he and I. Was I was about to say, look at those Ooh, eyes. He That's... has beautiful, he has that beautiful trichromia. That gold. <laughs> Is that what that's called? Beauty. <laughs> Try, beauty. Here, can you zone zone in, beauty. Grant? He he comes from William the Conqueror as well, I'd assume. Yeah, you can tell. By those beautiful eyebrows and the trichromia. Eyes. What'd you call him? Trichromia. Trichromia. See how he's got the gold bar bars? What yeah. about Tom's eyes, Grant? Can go you ahead. zoom in? Let's see the let's see this. Do you want me to go put my eyes next to the camera real close? Grant, would that help? Yeah, Grant. You can do that if you want. I don't know. You might have to go on my Instagram story. Let me see. Should I walk up to the camera, William? This is <laughs> Grant. Pull up his Instagram story. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of blurry this way. <laughs> let me let me go closer. Yeah, go closer. Okay. It. Yeah, but let's see. Which where do I look? Into um, the camera. Camera one. Yeah. Camera one. Let's see the trichromia. Let's see the. Whoa. Grant, go ahead and oh. focus in on no, those. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, too close. Hmm. Yeah, we got to see. The, and, the then, up, and then you got to move the other guy's eyes, Grant. You got a lot there to. Is. Yeah, now you got to somehow focus <laughs> the back one. And Grant, I mean, you got a really a lot to do right now because you're there's a focus <laughs> issue going on, I think, with the front part. And then Grant, there's like obviously some sort of issue with the back part. I mean, Grant, you're going to. Yeah, Grant, you got your work cut out for you, Hot Shot. <laughs> Trichomia. Grant, you're going to want to go ahead and zoom in on the trichomia, please. We had a ch- good... We, am I the first trichromia guest you've had? I think yeah, so. I think so. It's That's why we Art's had to... Uh, had to get it. Yeah, the, the mercenaries were clamoring yeah. for if anybody with a trichromia <laughs> eye came on here, we got to see the trichromia. Well, so. It's a Patreon thing. Yes. O negative. I feel like... Trichomia. Gout. I don't have gout, but I <laughs> probably will someday. Isn't that the King's disease? Um, yeah. The I King Killer. Is that the Van Halen song? King's gout? disease. Gout. No. <laughs> you talking about go ahead and jump? Go ahead <laughs> and jump. Go. go ahead and gout. I was thinking shout for some reason. Might as well no. gout. With yeah. my hands up and gout. Take my hands up oh, and yeah, gout. Was, Come on could. now. Gout. Don't Come forget to wear your gout. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Swollen ankles now. Gout. 
Yeah, why they're did I most think it was now. shout? <laughs> that was most swollen, swollen now. now. Uh, I think so. Fun. We were having a great time. You guys are awesome. We've been laughing pretty good so far. Really happy Very to be silly. here as, as opposed to Los Angeles. I know um, you just moved here, and again, you haven't experienced that Texas heat. Well, I guess Houston. <laughs> yeah, I guess Houston's probably really hot. And so. I was doing door to door sales. <laughs> what were you, you selling? Vivint Smart Home. And what <laughs> that's sad. You would sell smart homes to homes that weren't already smart. Yeah, I would go convince, huh. I'd go give their, these homes an education. Were you good at it? I was so good. Would you sell You want to hear my pitch? pitch? Yeah, it was your spiel. Yeah. Imagine, if you will, your house could talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I did the security <laughs> aspect. I never, to, I never actually sold the locks. Um, I just, it's just called Vivint Smart Home. I sold those doorbell cameras like a maniac. I would just oh. go to someone's house and I would say, uh, hey, how you doing? Sorry to bug you. My name's Tom. Um, have you heard about? <laughs> I'm, of- I'm talking, I'm currently buddies with the alien, whatever. <laughs> the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki. The Anunnaki the sent me here. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? Okay, great. So I'm relatives of what's his name? Yeah. William the, the Conqueror. <laughs> Are you Conqueror. familiar with feudal England? I have. The beginning gout. of civilization. <laughs> I have gout in one leg, not both, thank God. <laughs> no, but I would just go, I would just say, have you heard about all the catalytic converters that have gotten stolen? Because catalytic converters are getting stolen at an alarming rate. <laughs> <laughs> and So you were going that angle, the catalytic converters. I was okay. the caddy yeah, converter the angle. Yeah, well, no, 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 the fear, no, 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 no. no the no, fear the aspect fear. is... See this app? This, these are all the violent crimes and break-ins that have occurred in the neighborhood in the last five years. And so, what was the app you were using to show spot them? crime? I didn't use that. I didn't <laughs> use that. But that's the fear. If you want to know what yeah. the fear approach was, it's it's just showing the uh, break-ins and assaults. Because I would never say to people like, "Hey, your house might get broken into." I would be like, "Yeah, your car is out there. You're asleep. I know you have a dog. I know you have guns. It's great." But you can just look on your phone and see who's Prove like you'll it. you'll get a no, you'll get a notification, and you can load your gun up and go shoot that. Or the police will nice. be able to find the people that killed you. Yeah, well, yeah right. <laughs> the exactly. video at the very least. Well, I would never yes. say that. They can okay. avenge your death, and for an extra price, I will personally <laughs> yeah. avenge your death. But I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am a mercenary. <laughs> <laughs> for 75 yeah really arbitrary number 75 dollars a year a year it's insurance yeah. for me to go ahead and follow yes. up on that desk <laughs> but yeah no it was like i didn't use the fear i would also be like have you ever wondered whose dog's shitting on your lawn it's a good one you know and they'd be like i do all the time and i'd be like yep so you'll you'll know because you're you're gonna see yeah. it Take a look at this picture. It's you shitting on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Imagine I was a dog. Huh. How, Interesting. how annoyed would you be? <laughs> I know. I'd cry. I'd cry. <laughs> oh, of course. I can't handle human shit. That's... Yeah, poor Erica stepped in human shit last night oh. when we were walking through Dance the around. alleyway. Oh, there was I was some... like, William, yeah. I don't know if I stepped in anything or is the floor kind of slippery? He looks kind of slippery and then I smelled it. Oh. There was some behind Mothership yesterday. I saw I, some. I, I swear to God, I saw some. At yeah. least they do I, 100% it. it's not dog. At least they do it in the alley. In LA, they straight up do it on the sidewalk. No I would way. walk my dog. Yes, yes. On the, the busy <laughs> sidewalk, people would poop on this. So, at least it's in an alley. I'll say that. There and it was bad. Good it would way be to look at it. It would be diarrhea. That was on me. Yeah, it was like diarrhea. You know, it man, was... that shit I had two days ago that was like a foot and a half. That would have been interesting to see on the yeah, side. They would have called in the National Guard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, there's a bear. There's a polar bear downtown. The re- return of the Nephilim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they call in a drone strike for that GPS location. Just torch it. <laughs> like Tokyo. They'd firebomb it. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Fun times. We shouldn't have done that to Tokyo. No, no. Well, we didn't do no. anything to Tokyo, <laughs> Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Well, Tokyo was firebombed, and more people died in Tokyo than really? Nagasaki and Hiroshima combined. Really? Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah. That's a lot, because I, I think like 30,000 people died. Or I don't know. I would have to look. <laughs> Three million, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't the, know the numbers. <laughs> it was a lot. I don't know the death totals. I don't know the real. Could you look that up? There's hundreds of thousands. Would you mind? What? what am I looking up? Death toll, tolls for... Uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki and, and I'm not trying to disprove you here, Casey. It's true. I'm I'm curious and I'll eat <laughs> I'll eat crow if yeah. uh, if I'm wrong. It's true. But I have a feeling that Hiroshima and <clears throat> Nagasaki caused more death than the Tokyo. But Well, Tokyo was made out of wood. 
and oh. we, we firebombed it and it burned like something like 70% of Tokyo, oh. hundreds of thousands of people. Died. Terrible, terrible, yeah. terrible. Not good. I'm not saying Yikes. it's good. Not good. I'm not saying it's good. Mm -hmm. And at least the people in Nagasaki got vaporized. They think around a low of 110,000 and around a high of 210,000. In Hiroshima and Nagasaki? And then... Look up the firebomb if you don't mind, please. <laughs> not telling. He you. really not, doesn't not, believe you. It's well, no, true. I want to know because I want to. I want this factoid for my. Yeah. For and if I can verify truth, I will take your factoid. I'll eat crow that I'm wrong. Yeah. Pass it along. So actually, this is a could be a good learning experience it said for it, us today. At least eighty thousand to a hundred thousand. So I, I'll give you this. I'll give you this, Casey. Mm. I'll give you this, Casey. It, it it's more than individually Hiroshima or Nagasaki. Okay. Because I think it was a hundred and fifty for both Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So individually, Tokyo right. was a, a single larger death toll. So you're not wrong. It not doesn't wrong. make you incorrect. Well, we'll both have a little also bite of crow. Looking up the wrong thing. We'll have a little know. taste of crow. We'll you have a little bite of crow. I'll have the foot. Yeah. If y'all ever come to Memphis, I'll take y'all to Nagasaki. It's a really good, uh, uh, <laughs> whatever it's called, the place where they're Sushi? chopping up the <laughs> hibachi. hibachi. Ooh, I love hibachi. hibachi. Oh, yeah. yeah, very good hibachi oh, place yeah. in Memphis. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love like a good, you know, a nice soy saucy beef. You know, what's or, that place we've gone? Uh, JJ's Hibachi. It's a food truck. Try it. Woo! It's good. Get, get it's the sand. Good. The, get the sea in the land. Land in the sea. Oh, oh my gosh! It's kind of expensive, but it's like a giant. It's like feels like it's a pound or two of food. Mm -hmm. Like it's expensive, kind of, but it's so Over 20? freaking good. Probably. Yeah, well, they have some that's like filet and fuck. It. Some of those get expensive, but it's it's delicious. It's worth it's it. It's wonderful. It's really oily mm. though, so that's probably not good for you. But <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Well, we got going back to my. I already have an issue. I already have an oil issue. I don't know if I've have I told oh. you guys about my hyper beardo. Oh, oh yes, black yeah, mm -hmm. beardium, and. Uh, and that's oil. Actually, that's good for hibachi. They actually, it's oftentimes <clears throat> sought after as one of the the uh, oils to use. Well, I thought it was cool. I looked in the front of their truck because it's a truck they can drive, and they had a bunch of trulies up there. So I thought, oh, this is a cool place. These are cool people running this place. <laughs> they're fucking hitting it. <laughs> they're getting drunk. And yeah, they're getting the drunk. Truck. Is it that little food court in the in the the caged area by downtown? Yes. Yes. Okay, I know what you're talking. But about. it may have yeah. moved. They drink in there. How yes, funny. I've yeah. seen them drinking Modelo's in there before. I used to DoorDash there. Yeah. That's so <laughs> funny. Yes, yeah. I would. Uh, oh man, that place is so. Good. Which which career path do you think uh, is most decimated by alcohol addiction? Do you think it's cooks, <laughs> or alcohol Bartenders. and drug addiction, <clears throat> bartenders? Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> I mean, com comics probably. Um, oh. Exotic dancer. Uh, yes, um, yes. Yeah, when all have you have that. to do is dance. Yeah, I think the alcohol I just actually feel, helps that. Yeah. I just feel like every cook it used that to I've, help me. Yeah, mm -hmm. like every cook I've met that <laughs> loves coke and booze, like loves just getting drunk and. And I why was, wouldn't you? Yeah, oh yeah, I wasn't even a cook. I was the dishwasher, but I was getting down with the cooks at the place <laughs> I worked at in Denver. Yeah, it was a den of inequity. How is I Denver? Enjoyed it. Denver. Denver. Oh, I loved <laughs> it. That? Like a David Lynch club or something. Yeah, it was just a lot of <laughs> sin going on. It was yeah. just a very evil. Like, no, it seemed fine. It was, was like the Mark de Sade. Do you know who the Marquis yeah. de Sade is? 100 Days of Sodom. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Gross. Do you I know don't that know. 120 that Days of Sodom, rather. There's 20 more days. I think Casey and I should. Um, tag team explain the Marquis de Sade. <laughs> So it's like, yeah, <laughs> we'll take it from here. Basically, like these super rich guys get their daughters and they go to a remote palace mm -hmm. and they get a group of dudes they call the fuckers <laughs> and they go on this. 120 day fuck spree mm -hmm. of them with their daughters, the daughters with the fuckers, the fuckers with some other random like peasants. And yeah, like, like some there's a guy wearing probably a dress, I'm sure. And one, maybe one of the rich guys gets something rammed up on by a fucker. It, they're called the fuckers. And I hope yeah. I don't like if I if I ever get like work on Disney Channel and they go back and watch this. I didn't write this story. No, Marquette de Sade. Yes, yes. And so, but it's just disgusting. 
Mm. It's all about, well, that's where the word sadism comes from, is that the Marquis de Sade, he would write these horrible stories of depravity, and uh, it sort of ramps up throughout the 120 days, and it leads to an escalation that you might not be comfortable with. Okay. Yeah. okay. I don't know if I'm we can say it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people with daughters and... But fuckers, sex. that came from that, too. Yeah. But fuckers? No, just, well, <laughs> as well. Fuckers. The word? As well, fuckers. No, the word fuckers <laughs> came from that that book. Oh, I didn't know that. That's at least what I've read. Interesting. Learning more. Well, fuck, yeah. fuck comes from <laughs> thick in German. Thick. Okay. Okay. Thick. And so fuck came from thick. So then fuckers, fuck was the Anglo version of thick. And then so he just added the ERS and created fuckers. Damn. There we the go. more you know. Yeah. Hey, seriously, <laughs> knowledge is power. We can be funny guys. We can be funny, funny, fun guys, Joker, Joker Roonies. But really, <laughs> knowledge is power. The more we know about the past, about literature, and about history, the more power we're going to have in the future. Yeah. And you know, right. if you really read about like the French Revolution and all these terrible things that happened, Les Miserables and all that. <laughs> That's happening the right musical? now. musical? Well, it was a book by Victor Hugo before it was a musical, but it was a great musical as well. I prefer the musical. Well, of course. Yeah. Who the fuck likes the, the original book? But no, it's a beautiful story of redemption, I'll tell you that. But it goes cool. to show you, you know, it's a, they, these things happen, these like power struggles where they enslave the, right. the common people. It's happened throughout time. You know, you give them, give them um, fairs and food, I think, or give them carnivals and food and... And they won't ask questions. Yeah. You Let know? them eat cake. Let them eat cake. Yeah, exactly. I mean, these days, well, what? It's Ninja Warrior and <laughs> yeah. Survivor. King. Yeah, yeah. Survivor. Xbox. Pretty good season right now. <laughs> I'm really genuinely enjoying this season right now. What's been the best part? <laughs> Um, they got that girl out last time. There was some <laughs> nasty girl. She was too schemy, and thank God they saw through her fucking People ass. People try to run it, Schemer. you know? You have to lay low, and then they mm -hmm. don't like... They're saying your name, and they're trying to... She's mm. trying to change it. But you gotta run it at some point, but she was doing yeah. it too early. Yeah. She was doing it too early, and She's luckily like, well, they like found her pick. out. It's like, no. Yeah, you don't bitch. get to say that. If you turn yeah. your alliance too quick, you're screwed. William would fuck up. Gotta play your I would right. mess up. It is my dream to get yeah. one there, but I swear, <laughs> I maybe would talk too much. I would do something. I would spill he the beans. I think I would overshare. <laughs> but if I got on Survivor, though, I would have to know in my head I cannot overshare. Yeah. I would have to know that. Well, bring and I think journal. going in, that would help. Bring a journal. And don't yeah. let anybody see your journal. And you can write down. Well, what if somebody finds my you journal and all my secrets are in there? Then I'm really getting voted out. They have up. those, you yeah. know, those like those ones with the little codes that you put on and no mm -hmm. one knows it Password but you. Journals. Password yeah. journals. And have it so, be your birthday. Yeah. And just write down like <laughs> Steve. We, tomorrow yeah. we are voting out Steve. He thinks we love him, but we actually think he sucks and we are going to vote him off. And then, well, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But that guy next to you, he was a mess. The guy right above me. Mm, next to the redhead. Day Bonu. four. I'm so scared of alligators. Oh, with the tank top? I can't yep, even with the tank. You scared oh, of yeah, alligators? Weird. Well, it that would just be like the stuff you're writing down that you're really scared of. It's oh, yeah. so dark out here at night. Yeah. <laughs> I bet the mosquitoes. Yeah. Imagine yeah. the mosquitoes. Oh, God. Well, it doesn't seem as hard anymore. They're not well, out there William's as long. Of bugs. No, I'm not. I oh, my gosh. The <laughs> other night... The night I watched that scary movie with the stepdad or whatever doing the puzzle, there was a fucking, <laughs> I've been seeing some roach. It better be the same roach I saw the past two nights. Oh, no. Uh, the big, the summer kind. But it was up on the ceiling, and it oh, took no. me forever. I swear to God, I was watching it for an oh, hour my God. before I made my move. And See, we finally I... got it. It was scary. And I get mad at Erica because she's not helping my <laughs> ass. But I helped and... him. Dude, th I killed one last night that was oh, probably four inches long. I put my thumb there for scale. Wow. Ooh. Four inch roach. It's because it's warm. It's the summer kind. Huge You roach. guys should that be hitting them with one. chemical warfare. And, like, but it was up oh. on the ceiling. Windex. I don't want to spray something accidentally. I don't know. It scared me. Emily's Windex. supposed to go for it, but he jumps back. Yeah, I threw. I comically threw the shoe. I had a shoe <laughs> in my hand, and I swear, I'm not, I didn't even mean to. I scream because Erica does the <laughs> broom up because it was underneath the broom, so and I it was still it alive. Down, and I'm like, I'm going to put it down, go get it. So instead of going towards it with the shoe, he... 
goes back and throws the shoe. <laughs> it was like it a movie. <laughs> I tossed, it flew out of my hand because oh. I was so scared. I like f- <laughs> freaking did that and it flew out now, of my fucking hand. Now they have wings, hand. but they can't fly, right? Some they of them can. Flutter. can. I think they can yeah, like they fly. Right? Yeah, they fly a little. That's crazy. That's, little crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Flying cr- roaches. I it. let all nope. of the bugs live in my, when, when I get like when a fly comes in or one of those lives big. there now? Yeah, like when one of those big um crane, crane bugs, have you seen a crane fly? They look like male mosquitoes. Big mosquitoes. Yes. Yeah, they yeah. look like male mosquitoes, but they're, they're loud. They'll slap the walls. Yeah, yeah. They, they they would slap <laughs> me in the face, but I let them live because I think they're cool and they're sentient. They're, yeah, like I let yeah. anything that's sentient very live. Very sentient. I don't think roaches are very sentient. I think they're just food motivated. But like this, I read more about these crane flies, and they their one goal in life is love. Yeah, and it well, made me sad. So I let I, them live. They, <laughs> they die on their own after a few days. But um, I read those crane flies. Uh, the scientists think if there was a piano small enough for them to play it, they would be able to play it by ear. Yes. Yeah. So? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, so I'm amazed, yeah. at, Damn. dude. Yeah, intelligence <laughs> of some of these. And some, it's true. You'd be amazed, dude. Some of these flies <laughs> land near me and they'll like watch me. And just like, just watch me for an hour. <laughs> what are you doing watching the fly? I'm playing video games oh, oh, and the oh. fly's just sitting there. Like you think a fly flies around. No, this fly's just sitting there just he watching me. He loved you. Yeah, he did. And I took <laughs> care of them. I had a whole. Like, what do you give them? Little them. scraps of food or well, they, something? They, get, they find great crumbs. You know what I mean? <laughs> like something that I wouldn't see. They're like, oh my God, this is like. Thanksgiving dinner It'll last yeah. a while. A feast. Yeah, you know, and I have water out. You know, it's like, <laughs> well, that's a little sweet. thimble. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I think bugs deserve life. Their lifespans are so short. If they lived forty-five years, it would be a different story. Mm-hmm. But a fly, a little crane fly, comes in. He just wants to know what it's like to live inside. Imagine how nice that would be to be an outside yeah. person and then you get to go inside and die. Outside yeah, an outside, yeah, outside yeah. person living inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get to just go in for the last day of your life. You get to live inside. Yeah, yeah. climate control, little piano, God willing, if they were that small. But If anybody's I watching know. this that can make a little crane bug piano. Go ahead and hit us up. In yes. Yeah. Yeah, Do sign up for the mercenaries level and you'll be able to message us. Yes, please. I and love we that. We can figure it out. Um, what song do you think he, the crane fly would play first? Give me back my bullets. Dun, 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 yeah, that. Dun, 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 dun. The night they drove all Dixie yeah. down. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Werewolves of London. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some Warren Zevon probably. They tore old Dixie down. That's a banger. <laughs> I would say maybe he might play like Let It Be. Yeah, sure. sure. You know, oh gosh, could bing, be a Beatles. Bing, yeah. Or, bing. Yeah. I mean, he's a bug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the know? White Album, maybe if they're a little more avant-garde. Yeah, yeah. there was sure. no the the Crane Flies band, but if there was, I mean, he might be a classical guy. He might like Mozart. He could. <laughs> well, Tom Whalen, <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show today, Can my friend. Can you put your hand on my knee one more time, and then I'm going to go like that out of friendship and just let wow. you know that's how much I truly love my buddy, William. I know. It's very <laughs> nice to see you again. Tom was one of my first buddies in L.A. Yes. And it's beautiful to see Up William. at Next Stage Theater. He's Remember that place? Oh, do The I? Barubians. <laughs> oh, my. The liquor <laughs> store underneath, and I'd get fucking wasted and pass out and vomit on the stairs. Okay, yes. hold on. We have to think our mercenaries. Russell, obviously. Tweak the Freak. Sean, A I Elliot, Alec, <laughs> Alec, A I Elliot. He makes my A I shit. We love you, Elliot. Anthony Whiplash, Morganson. It's a cool name. Black Pill Machine, our man Black Pill Machine, making that music. Daniel Fox from Hawaii, the Big Island. Destiny A Ford. Jay Dizzy, as always. Joe Kive, as always, making the videos. Josiah M. Justin Threckle. Big My dog. old doctor's kid, I think, maybe. <laughs> Dr. <Larry>. Threckle. <laughs> Kyle. Papa John Schnatter, a.k.a. Matt. You need to change that, Matt. I don't think Grant likes seeing that. <laughs> That's um, triggering, Matt. Yeah. I think we got him. Thank you all so much. And- got him. Oh, so this is just doubling up now? Yeah. yeah. And we're going to yeah, make sure yeah, we just don't say five times. We're going to make sure we don't thank anybody... Too much. With an L. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Except for, for sure. Joe Kive. We love <laughs> yes. Joe Kive. 
And Mr. Threckle, I think <laughs> Dr. Threckle was your dad. <laughs> Dr. Threckle and Mr. Hyde. I, I like Whiplash. I want to see what Whiplash brings to the table. Is this a dirt bike expert? <laughs> well, yes. we're trying to figure it out. We will see. We're going to meet them all in person July 4th during the Willie Nelson picnic. And yes. there's all the ones on the bottom, too. Are we supposed to read those? You guys supposed to read those, yeah. too? No, those shall not be read. No. Oh. <laughs> the, those, those are the, the bounty hunter, though, and I, I had forgotten to put them on the screen last time. So. Christian Fabinger. We love you, bounty hunter. Love <laughs> 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 you Okay, Tom, where can people find you, good sir? Yes, fake Tom Whalen on Instagram and on TikTok, <laughs> and you can find my McDonald's freakout video if you Google my name. And <laughs> what, do you freak out at a McDonald's? Oh, it's glorious. I got sober for 16 months after that. It's glorious. All praise to you. You're asking where the Father. beef was? <laughs> I was. They wouldn't give me the beef, and it was... 45 out. minutes of waiting, hungry, drunk, and no nicotine, and <laughs> guy was honking behind me. It's a, it's a masterpiece. But I would definitely <laughs> say, Chad, I'm a better man now. I would say cool. definitely check out, check out Fake Tom Whalen on Instagram, and uh, yeah, just um, you know, just think about me in your dreams. Sure. <laughs> Bless me in your dreams. <laughs> cool. William, you have any dates coming up? Yes, Springfield. Um... In St. Louis and Philly. Yum. What about you, Casey? I'll be in St. Louis and Philly as well this summer, but this month I'm at Cap City headlining the 24th, and I'm in Dallas at Hyenas the 28th. Nice. Love it. Nice. There you are. Hell yeah. Well, thank y'all for watching. Oh, and New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Having a big... Birthday. Show in December at Pinkerton Academy Stockbridge Theater, 900 Cedar. Ooh, it's going to be woo. sick as hell. Pinkerton. Pinkerton. But yeah, thank you guys. You're awesome. Thank you. Nice to have you. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.